a yes or a no, and if the no's carry it, it could always be re reintroduced at another time. My bewilderment is we're here, the business is to teach kids, and I think everybody knows, or almost everyone would agree, that when the parents know what's going on with their kids, there's a better outcome. And the lack of a desire for transparency confuses me, makes me wonder what's going on. We had a rather large contingency at the Thursday meeting. Um, even though some of these things in, in this resolution here are already in our policies, shoot, half, the, half of this is already in our policy. So, so we're pushing back on what's already our policy, and that's, that's bewildering. That being said, on Thursday there was a rather large contingency that said they would resist this, even though half of it's already in our policy. They said they would will, willfully disobey this, even though half of this is already in our policy. And <clears throat> we have board members saying that, gee, 60 days isn't long enough to really look at something where half of it's already in our policy. So that's confusing to me. Um, further on the transparency issue, why wouldn't everyone want the parents to know everything that's being taught to their kids? I know that uh, Superintendent Kalis, I asked you last week if you would be willing to email the parents in, in, the, in the idea of transparency and the parental rights to know that the social emotional learning program of responsive classroom is now in the Riverside schools and being taught to their kids and you just adamantly said no you wouldn't do that. It was approved by the Board of Education two years ago. We've been uh, using that program for two okay, years. So I it, hasn't, it hasn't been an issue since January. Excuse me, I'm not finished. But okay, understand. Thank, that. thank you, I'm not finished. And so you adamantly said no, you would not do that. What you did say is each individual parent, if they so desired, could come into the school and you would make it available for them to look at. A simple email. My goodness, what is an email to be sent out to the parents so that they can know what's being taught to their kids? So that this whole idea of a lack of transparency and the pushback from the board members, from administration, uh, from the teachers, is really baffling to me. It looks like we're working against the education of our kids, not for it. So I, I move that we vote on this and, and we pass it for transparency.